There are so many tequila brands out there and there's so many of them that just aren't worth it. And a lot of the mainstream ones that you know, they're not very good at all. They're just backed by a lot of marketing money. So in this video, I'm gonna be giving you three incredible lesser known tequilas that you should be drinking. Brian, let's jump into it. The first tequila I wanna to talk to you about is Lalo. Lalo is a tequila that I've recently gotten my hands on and I love this bottle. So this bottle is not too, too expensive. You can get it anywhere between like 40 and $45, though I have seen it go for a little bit less than that. It is certified additive free by Tequila Matchmaker. And one of the things that I love the most about Lalo is its story. Lalo is a brand created by Eduardo Lalo Gonzalez and Lalo is actually a nickname given to him by his grandfather, the Don Julio himself. Yes, the one that the brand is named after. And this is another generation making an incredible product coming from a long line of tequila makers. Prior to Don Julio being sold, it was considered one of the best tequilas in the world. Not so much today. And what I love about what Lalo is doing is that they are creating a brand that has a lot of that heritage behind it, but they are creating a new, modern, amazing Blanco tequila to keep their family story going. And the bottle itself is just beautiful. I love the branding. It's super simple. It's a square bottle. It catches your eye from quite far away, and I really enjoy it. Let's try it. Let's give this one a little sip. Ooh, that's so good. It's beautiful, it's clean, it's got that great agave flavor. You get almost like a fruitiness to it, and it's just really, really well made. I think this would work amazing in a margarita, but honestly, sipping it on its own is an absolute treat. What an amazing tequila for not that expensive, and it's just, I love the story behind it. I'm, I don't know, maybe I'm sentimental about this whole family thing, and I just, I love it. The next brand I wanna to talk to you about is El Gran Legado de Vida. This brand is a relative newcomer to the tequila industry, and it has a gnome of 1123. It's the same distillery that makes Cascajuin, Wild Common, and some of the Arte Gnome selections, and so it comes from a really incredible, reputable distillery. I personally love the bottle. I think it's a beautiful bottle. It looks great on my back bar and the price is around $59, $60. Right, let's give this one a little taste. Ooh, you get some good floral notes right on the nose. Oh yeah, the mouthfeel on that is just incredible. You get a good amount of minerality to it and you get a little bit of citrus. It's really, really enjoyable to sip on its own. It is wonderful. It is one of the best tequilas I've tried recently, and it's one that I am really, really obsessed with. And I mean, how could I not be? It's made by people who really know what they're doing. So before I get to the last brand I wanna to talk to you about, an honorable mention will be Montagave. Uh, this is a brand that's actually created the exact same distillery as El Gran Legado de Vida. So you know that it's quality, it's made by really, by people who really know what they're doing. And what I find fascinating about Montagave is that it says it's a Blanco, but if you look at the color, it's not clear. And that's because a Blanco tequila can actually be rested for up to two months in a barrel and still be considered a Blanco. And so the Montagave is actually rested in former Bordeaux barrels. And so you get that color from these former wine barrels. It is also a relative newcomer to the tequila industry, and but one that I'm really, really enjoying. I love their branding, you know, what they have right here on the stopper, the front of it, I think the bottle looks really, really nice. It reminds me of a wine bottle, which I understand what, what they're trying to do with kind of pushing from that Bordeaux side. And try it, let's give it a little taste. Just wow, it's, it's lovely. What I love is that it's a very unique drinking experience. So most tequila is aged in uh, usually former bourbon barrels or at least oak barrels. And so resting it in a Bordeaux barrel is, it creates this very unique flavor where you get some of that raw agave, but you do get some of that uh, almost wine flavor that kind of mixes itself with the tequila and you get some of those barrel notes. It is a unique tequila and I've never actually tried anything like it and one that I really, really enjoy sipping on on its own. And the last brand I wanna to talk to you about is Volans. Volans is a brand that I cannot get enough of. This is a brand that is distilled at Gnome 1579, uh, which is better known as El Pandillo, which is one of the best distilleries in all of Mexico. And this is the same distillery that distills G4, Teralta, Volan, Primo, and some of the Arte Gnome selection as well. You can find it for anywhere between about $55 and $70, depending on the expression and where you're looking for, but they do have some higher up extra añejos that are much more expensive. The reason why I love them and think that they're a lesser known tequila is that despite being made at such a famous distillery, it seems like all of the other brands from this distillery get all the love. He Cuatro is personally one of my top three favorite tequilas of all time. But He Cuatro is actually not, it's not easy to find at the moment, along with Fortaleza and some of the other more well-known tequilas out there. Uh, but Volans is made by the same people in a similar way, not the same way. Um, it does taste different than the He Cuatro, but the attention to detail and quality 
is there. I think that these bottles are beautiful. I think the branding looks incredible. Both the Blanco and the Reposado that I have uh, are both amazing. And I've tried their extra Añejo and it literally blew my mind how amazing that bottle was. All right, let's give the Blanco a little sip. Wow, I love that. You get this beautiful grassy, almost vegetal agave flavor with almost like black pepper notes mixed with citrus and, and it has this almost like briny, almost saltiness to it that is just so, so delectable. It's one of the best tequilas on the market that no one really knows about and people aren't talking about, but it's one that I'm absolutely obsessed with. Uh, I just, I really, really enjoyed this one, <laughs> if you can't tell. <laughs> but yeah, you should, you, should, you should get some of that, definitely, definitely. No matter which of these brands that you go with, I think you'll be doing really, really well with any of them. But if you can't get enough tequila recommendations, I have a whole other video right here that you can check out next.